testimony of Jesus. It's all about Jesus. Hallelujah. Good morning to you. Anywhere you are around the world, you are very much welcome in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I believe that Lord Jesus Christ has positioned you today to receive his grace, to receive his love, to receive his glory and his mercy upon your life. What a God you have to worship, what a son you have to praise and what a future lies before you. People of God, this is your brother in Christ Jesus, Apostle Peter, John Gabriel, only by the grace of God Almighty in heaven. I am who I am, you are who you are, we are who you are, only by the grace of God Almighty in heaven. Hallelujah. Amen. Wow. I can't just begin to thank God Almighty for the grace he has given man. His love, his compassion, his favor, and what he has done for man. If God has not intervened, where would we be today? Where would we be in our career, in our life, our marriage, our finance, and everything about the people of God? Where would we be? A lot have gone. A lot have gone. A lot have gone. Here you are right now, watching, looking, talking, smiling, moving, and doing everything freely. People of God, have you ever thanked God Almighty for this grace you have received? Today, everybody live the life they want to live. This one live this way, this one live this way, this one live this way. Remember, our life came from the inside of us before it was brought outside for people to see. The life you live right now came on the inside of you before it was eventually made known on the outside for people to see. What we are seeing right now about you originated on the inside of you. People of God, on this note, join me as we look at the message today. Title, How You Paint the Picture of Your Life. How You Paint the Picture of Your Life. Wow. So my life is a picture. Likewise, you as well. Before we go any further, let us look at the Bible. The book, you know this one very well. Philippians chapter 4, verse 8. I choose this verse because I, to me, the picture of our life begins on the inside of us. Philippians 4, verse 8. He said, Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are are lovely whatever things are of good report if there is any virtue and if there is anything praiseworthy meditate on these things meditate on these things wow people of god you have seen for yourself that God Almighty has given us a life to live. But well, this life came from the inside of us because our life is a picture. You can see a picture here. You see a picture here. Our life is like a picture. The kind of life we live today is the picture we will see tomorrow the kind of life we portray today is the very picture we are going to get tomorrow when you are taking short they snap you right now you are expecting the picture you know you are, you are expecting the picture so you can get the picture of what they have snapped people of god nobody who has been snapped will not be eager to see the picture 
he or she has been snapped. <laughs> I repeat, nobody who who take posts like this, like that, like that, like that, and be snapped, I will not be eager to say, I want to see this picture. Let me, let me. How many days? How soon? One minute? Two minutes? Five minutes? Let me know how quick I will get that because they want to see what they look like in this picture. Wow. People of God, the life I live and the life you live, the life we live is the picture we want to get. What life have we lived? And what is the picture we intend to get? Remember, by our heart, by our thoughts, we constantly paint the public picture of our inner self. By our thoughts, we constantly paint the public picture of our inner self. That means our heart or our thoughts represent the picture of who we are before the world. I don't need to portray myself that I am this, I am that, I am that. People can see by what means this picture of mine came either through negative thoughts or the thoughts of God. Remember, I said the other time that your thoughts is like a pen or a pencil in the hand of an artist. The picture you draw is what you get. The picture you draw about yourself is what you will get. People of God, nobody want to draw something ugly, something bad about themselves. We all need good picture. We all need good. That is why we post very well. If you need a shot, you say, please. Oh, when they snap you one and they just bring it to you to, just to show you to see how it look like, say, no, 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 it's not, it's not good. I need another one, another one, another one. You will just stand this way. Sometimes you stand this way. Sometimes this way. It all depends. You will push yourself very well because you want the good one. People of God, do you also want the good picture of your life? As you are also eager to receive the good picture, you snap to see. Do you also want the good picture? Of your life because your life is a picture the seed you sow right now is the picture you are going to receive tomorrow tomorrow look god nothing happens for nothing and nothing comes by chance we are only sowing seed right now of the kind of picture we are going to receive tomorrow remember nobody can draw that life for you your mama cannot, your baba cannot, your niece cannot, your aunt cannot, your nephew, your uncle, your aunt cannot. Family members and people who love you so dearly cannot draw this picture that you want to receive. People of God, God has placed within your heart the pencil of an artist. The pencil of an artist to draw the picture of your future. As you draw right now, in the next minutes, next hours, you are going to see what you have drawn. Either you drew what is good 
or what is bad. I believe nobody wants to draw what is bad. We all want to draw what is good. And when you finish your drawing, you say, oh, this is very nice. People, how do you see it? My brother, how do you see it? My sister, how do you see it? Because you are eager to let men see the good in you. As you are desiring that, do you also know that what you are doing right now is the picture of your life you are already drawing the issue is not i am not the one that did it i didn't use my hand no it wasn't my hand people of god you don't need your fingerprint you don't need your hand to draw the destiny of your life people of god it is the issue of your heart because what i'm referring to now is not the issue of hand I mean, what I am saying right now is the picture of your future. Human hands are not employed. Human hands are not employed. When it comes to issue of drawing the kind of destiny you want to see, human hands are not employed. They are completely out of it. Can we see? Can we see? Here we are today. We run from pillar to post, from one junction to another, from one point to another, raise this, raise that, do this, do that. But we have failed to realize that the life we are living, where we run to, here and there, this and this, where we go to, is the picture we are already drawing of the destiny we want to see. Do you love your destiny? Do you love your tomorrow? Do you love your future? If you do, then begin to draw a good picture of you. What you want to see tomorrow. I mean, as you are posing to snap this picture of yourself right now, people of God, pose very well. So that you will get the right kind of picture you want to see. I believe you understand what I'm saying right now. It may sound as if it's parable, but people of God, this is the picture of reality. The picture of reality is that we often receive the kind of lifestyle we live. We cannot live contrary to God's word. And expect to receive a different picture. No, because a man always reap the same kind of seed he has sown. This is the picture of life. No one is to be blamed. No one. People of God, our people can't be blamed. Our family can be blamed. Our nation can be blamed. People within us cannot be blamed. We are the very reason why we are the way we are right now. Because we have set a table before us. What kind of table we set before us is the kind of things we will see on that table. When our table is not well dressed, our life is not well dressed. When our table is not well dressed, our destiny isn't well dressed. How you dress yourself? How do I dress myself? Of God, how do we dress ourselves? This is the problem today we are having in the world. As we are living this life right now, we are living. Remember, someone somewhere is watching us to see what will become of us tomorrow. <laughs> as we are living this life right now we are now living somebody somewhere is peeping among them are your friends among them are your relations among them are your aunts nephew niece people around they are watching to see what kind of picture you have tomorrow because they saw you taking the shot they are snapping you they say oh that's nice 
they were passing by and they see you taking the shots taking shots taking shot you post like this post like this like that they were seen they watch so they are eager to see what kind of picture you want to receive tomorrow people of god what you will let them know is to show them the reality of your true picture because your lifestyle is what gave them the reality of that picture about you so therefore begin to use the pencil in your heart right now to redesign your life because time is coming whereby the pencil will not be available for you to redesign your life when time has expired the pencil will not be there anymore Lord god an artist without a pencil is a quack artist is not an artist what i know is that an artist always go with his pencil because his pencil is the power in his hand by which he designed the future he designed the picture he designed everything that people want to see you are an artist you are one of those artists i'm talking about I am an artist. You are an artist. We are all artists in this world. Remember, our profession as an artist is not in the area of hand. People of God, our heart <laughs> is that pencil that proves that we are the artists we say we are. Indeed, our heart is that pencil. By our heart, I mean by our thoughts. The kind of thoughts we raise up, we raise right now, we are already drawing our destiny already. Already. Because what you are thinking right now will soon happen in time. What is going through your heart right now, jumping from these to that saying this saying that will soon happen in time if you are thinking negative about yourself negativity is bound to happen soon if you are thinking positively about yourself look god you are not far from that breakthrough from that healing that deliverance that blessing that success that's why i picked the book of philippians 4 verse 8 which says finally brethren whatever is right noble just praiseworthy if anything is of good report think of such things and meditate on them in your heart because what you think is the picture you are receiving what you know in your heart is the picture you are receiving what you meditate in your heart right now is the picture you are getting people of god we always get the kind of picture we put in our heart remember it is from the heart that the picture is made available on the outside this is where we are today if you want a good destiny your good destiny starts right now right now people of god it is never too late to make correction when you have the pencil in your hand to draw you might have drawn a wrong thing about yourself when you notice that you have done that quickly erase that's why you have pencil and eraser you erase that thing about yourself erase and redraw because pencil when it is used you can still erase erase that record of your life and then redesign redraw yourself the destiny you want to see people of god i know you know what i'm talking about you are not an accident it is as if you be by god's will that you are here right now because you are born to succeed you are born to triumph the life we live 
is the picture we enjoy. The life we live is the destiny we want to see. Live the life that suits the destiny you want to see. If my life is contrary to the destiny I want to see, people of God, the contrary life I have displayed is the very thing I'm going to see. Because I cannot pretend to plant yam and receive cassava. I cannot pretend to plant maize and receive a different seed. People of God, the same kind of seed I sow is the same kind of seed I am going to harvest. The same thing, the same product, not different. Where are you right now? Are you in a place where God wants you to be? Are you doing what God Almighty wants you to do? Am I doing what God wants you to do right now? If I am doing what is contrary to God's will right now, I am not drawing the picture I would love to see tomorrow. Although I may feel comfortable while doing what I am doing right now, but tomorrow is never comfortable. Tomorrow will give you the picture of your today. Tomorrow always give us the picture of our today. I mean, tomorrow will present and hand over to us the photograph we snapped yesterday. So what kind of picture did you take today? Is the very picture you are going to receive tomorrow. This is what tomorrow does to humanity. People of God, God has given us the great opportunity. What is that? He has given us the mind and ability to choose between right and wrong. So therefore, there is no excuse for remaining as we are in that career, in that marriage, in that business, in that finance. There is no excuse for us to remain as we are. We are responsible for whatever we give our attention to in that business, in that marriage, in that career, in that finance, in whatever we do God. We are what? We are responsible for whatever we give our attention to. What do we give our attention to right now? Remember, that is what we are going to receive tomorrow. So therefore, live the life you want to enjoy tomorrow. Tell your neighbor, live the life you want to enjoy tomorrow. In that business, live the life you want to enjoy tomorrow. In that marriage, live the life you want to enjoy tomorrow. In that career, live the life you want to enjoy tomorrow. In that marriage, live the life you want to enjoy tomorrow. Because the life you are living right now is the picture you are already drawing of the kind of destiny you want to receive. People of God, we are not far from our destiny because our heart is already drawing it right now. We are only opening our eyes to see what our heart has already drawn about us. We are already opening our eyes right now to see what our heart has already drawn about us and painted about us. That portrait our heart has painted is what we are already opening our eyes to see right now in the present. What our heart painted yesterday is the portrait we are now having with us and we are looking at today. And whatever our heart is painting right now, we cannot see with our eyes. Definitely tomorrow we will see them. In no time, they will surface. So, Paint the kind of picture you want to see tomorrow because our heart constantly paints the public picture of our inner self. That means whatever our heart paints, that is what we are going to see tomorrow. So therefore, the secret, begin to meditate on God's word. Let every word in your heart be pure, be just, be noble, be faithful, Good report, admirable. The word in your heart should be godly. Not any word of condemnation. Not any word of blackmail. Not any word of self-pity. 
not any word of doubt, not any word of hatred. Let the word in your heart be the word of God Almighty. That is why you are wound by the Bible. We are wound. I'm not saying you. I'm saying we. Because this message now is not for you alone, but for me as well, for all of us. We have been warned to paint the kind of life we want to enjoy tomorrow. Today, as it says in the book of Philippians 4 verse 8, by that, we can receive the destiny we are looking for. Do not paint a picture your children will see and they will not like to see the good need of becoming like their father or their mother. Don't paint a picture that your people will see and they will say, I don't want to be like this person, that person. People of God, everybody want to have people they admire. Remember you admire somebody, let someone also admire you. Remember you are admiring someone right now in your life because we always have somebody in our life we admire. Everybody, people of God, nobody will say, I don't admire. No, 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 no. Everyone on earth always have somebody they admire. People of God, who do you admire right now in your life? <sighs> people of God, we always have people we admire. The person you admire is whom you want to become like. Remember, someone should also admire you as well. As you are admiring somebody, let someone also admire you. If I want somebody to admire me, then I must paint a good picture of myself right now so that somebody can admire me tomorrow. They will see need of admiring me because I have painted the right picture that they want to see. Today, when you are moving on your street, maybe your city, your town, you will see picture on billboard, big picture. Picture, a very fine picture. Each time you are going passing by, you always want to see because that picture is very fine. You say, Wow, this is very nice, very nice, very nice. People of God, that means the picture you are seeing over there, you admire it so much. That is somebody over there. I'm using that picture now as somebody over there. So, also, let somebody admire you tomorrow by the picture you are painting right now. Let someone admire you. You say, hey, I love this man. I love this woman. She has done this. He has done this. Wow. I love. I love because of the kind of picture they have painted about themselves. Remember, why painting the picture you want to see tomorrow? You might go through trials, challenges, tough times, difficult times that will look as if you are not get into your destiny as if things will fall apart people of god in the midst of your painting people of god do not drop your paint don't drop your pencil keep using your pencil of heart to draw that kind of destiny you want to see i mean use that thought of god almighty in your heart which you meditate in your heart to draw the destiny you want to see, that good destiny, that good marriage, that good career, that good best business, that good finance, that good health, that good this, that good that. Draw that picture and don't be surprised. What you have drawn is the very thing you will see. Although you may have wasted time and energy in pain while you are drawing it, it's not waste. What you call waste is not waste. You are going to enjoy the benefit of it. So therefore, keep on using the pencil in your heart to draw the destiny you want to see. Because your thought is the pencil of an artist on your hand by which you draw the kind of picture you want to see tomorrow. By which you paint the kind of picture you want to see tomorrow. Joy, happiness, victory, success, Promotion, elevation, transformation. This is what you are drawing right now. Draw it well. So that we can all come and rejoice with you tomorrow. Draw it well. That we might come and dance with you tomorrow. Draw it well. That we might come and sit with you tomorrow. Please God, draw it well. As you are drawing, you may go through pain. Don't worry. Keep on drawing. 
Your destiny is bright. Your destiny is glorious. Draw what you want to enjoy, what you want to see. Paint the right picture of yourself and you'll be happy just as you are painted in the name of Jesus Christ. So right now, anywhere you are around the world, let me pray for you. Right now, I bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Father, I thank you for their life and for this rare occasion and privilege you've given to them this morning to join in this wonderful program. Father, as I pray for them right now, Father, they don't want to waste their life, their time, in drawing a negative picture of themselves because they also want people to admire them as they admire someone right now. Father, give them the grace to draw the kind of picture they want to see tomorrow. Give them the grace to paint the kind of picture they want to see tomorrow. As they are painting, Father, painting them good destiny. As they are painting, painting them good marriage. As they are painting, painting them good career. As they are painting, painting them good finance. As they are painting, painting them good health. Father, painting them good destiny, good destiny, good destiny, good destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I put them in a position where the pencil of their heart, which is the thoughts in their heart, will remain positive to God Almighty and paint the kind of picture they want to see and draw the kind of picture they want to see right now begin to receive a good pencil in your heart right now receive a good pencil in your heart i mean to draw the destiny you love to draw the destiny you enjoy the destiny you want to see as you right now begin to draw your good destiny your success, your freedom, your breakthrough, your victory, your promotion, right now begin to draw it right now. Even though you are poor, right now in your heart, you can begin to confess breakthrough in your heart right now. By that, you are already drawing the kind of picture you want to see. Even though you are sick right now, people of God, you can use the pencil of your heart, which is your thought right now, and begin to meditate on your healing. I am delivered. I am healed. I am justified. I am redeemed. And by that, you are already drawing the kind of picture you want to see about yourself. That you are restored. That you are delivered. That you have breakthrough. That you have healing. That you have promotion. That you have success. That you have freedom. That you have God's love. God's power and authority on your marriage right now. That is what you are right now saying in your heart. Wow, people of God, I see you receive what you are saying right now in your heart because this is the drawing you are drawing right now about yourself. This is the picture you are already drawing that you want to carry. People of God, as you are drawing it right now, prepare yourself to receive it because very soon you are going to receive that thing you are already drawing. The healing you are drawing, you will receive it. The breakthrough you are drawing, you will receive it. The freedom you are already drawing right now, people of God, that is what you are going to receive. Nothing can change it. Nothing can stop it. Nothing can stop it from happening. Oh God, I see it happening because what happened in your heart right now will happen in time. Right now, as you are drawing your breakthrough, come on, I say receive it. Come on, receive it. In your marriage, receive it. In your career, receive it. In your finance, receive it. In your health, receive it. In your life, receive it. I say receive. 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 I say receive, 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 just guys, name!